Yes. One seven five point nine. Here we go. New low. One seven five point point eight. Right. Forgive me. It's, it's early. to top that off. What if I told you guys that all of this freaking food right here was 459 calories? I know, right? <sighs> What's up guys, Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. As you can see, we got a pretty solid meal to start off today, right? A mighty big bowl of porridge because today is leg day. A scoop of, um, a scoop, a serving of peanut butter, 15 grams of peanut butter, and a big ass bowl of oats. Scoop of protein in there. Mix that shit up. And thank me later. One big tip if you are dieting is to definitely use a smaller spoon. Um, more mouthfuls makes you think that you are actually eating more because obviously you can take less in in one go. Makes you think that you're eating more than you actually are. And so long story short, you're just tricking yourself into thinking you're having even more food than you actually are. Casey Neistat must have just been watching my channel, watching me, and I have to say, I have to say, Casey, it's, it's an absolute pleasure to be an inspiration to you. You've been an inspiration to me for so long, and now I can finally say it's mutual. <laughs> anyway, back to breakfast. So, big, big tip, right? When and only when you have reached towards the near bottom, towards the bottom, nearly... When you <laughs> when you've nearly got to the bottom of your bowl of porridge, there we go. Then and only then do you stir in the peanut butter. So some of it will get caught up, like, and you can see it's kind of melted right now anyway because it's been kind of underneath the porridge. But if, like me, you love peanut butter, but know how high the calories are, you stir it in at the very end when you only have a little bit of porridge left when you only have a few oats left, because now this is just going to taste like pure peanut butter. Mm. Big, big dieting tip, because also you can have peanut butter, but in moderation, you don't want to have too much. This literally tastes like you're spooning it from the tub. Thank me later. It is time for a leg day. Oh, it is time for, what's happened there? For a leg day. So it's always a big question of what to wear um, on leg days. I'm gonna be wearing these old Alphalete joggers on the basis that um, they're just nice and warm. And to be honest, lately my Knees not been it's not been playing up, but it's just been a bit Not quite right if you remember around kind of Christmas time in January time. I couldn't actually train legs for what? You know uh, over a month. It was a good kind of six-week period where I couldn't actually train legs um, And that was because of my knee that's kind of flaring up again um, but not. I have found, and to many people, and well, to be honest, myself included, this sounds like a very obvious solution. Keeping the area warm helps. It helps a lot. So whether it's like a, a blood flow thing, I, I, I actually don't know, to be honest. But one way or another, keeping the area, keeping the knee itself warm, 
um, really helps to re reduce the pain. And so I have been wearing joggers on leg days, which I don't like doing. And just joggers, to be honest, just in general, um, when training and stuff, uh, just to keep a little bit warmer. I don't know, just... I've been enjoying it a bit more than I than I have done in the past. Normally I would be like shorts, vest, and that's kind of just been me for like my entire life. I've always been really, really warm. I've always worn shorts wherever I can. I've always worn a vest whenever I can. But to be honest, lately, uh, in particular for leg days, not so much of an issue on upper body days. I do like to warm up in a hoodie though. I've just been enjoying it, and so I'm going to carry on doing it. I'm considering getting knee sleeves. Um, on the basis that, again, it will keep the area warmer without me actually having to wear joggers. So I don't like, you know, can you tell I'm a bit confused about this whole situation? <laughs> I've been wearing this and been wearing joggers. Really, really enjoying it, in particular with leg days. So that is what today is. Let's go. Okay, so a couple new things we are trying for low uh, weight, high uh, reps. Um, seeing how we go with that today, we are also training in vans for the first time. Training legs in vans for the first time. Feels weird. <laughs> Just lay your head on. Oh, 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 oh. Key. <laughs> So training in vans, I kind of like it. I mean, I don't know, oh, let me turn this down for copyright. I don't know if it's something that I'll do uh, every single time, um, but definitely noticing a difference. I mean, obviously this is kind of like common knowledge, right? That you're not really meant to be squatting and stuff like that 
in sporty kind of uh, trainers, you know, like the red ones that I usually wear and always have worn. Um, it's better that you either have a flat soled shoe with a raised kind of uh, heel. And if you Google kind of lifting shoes, you'll know what I mean, you can see what I mean. But I kind of like it, I, I feel secure, I feel stable. Obviously I'm having to use the straps for the uh, stiff legged deadlift because if you saw the last video, uh, my wrist, this is actually only the following day from that video, uh, my wrist is still hurting so I'm not taking any chances. And to be honest, it definitely got rid of the pain uh, having it on. So I, I think even if it's just a placebo effect, I'm gonna use it for the next maybe four or five workouts and then um, go back to normal again because I don't want to be relying on it. But Okay, um, let's take a little break. The title of today's video, is it time for a new series? Um, <laughs> well, this is episode 75 or 70, episode 76 of the graduation series. And, gradu and the growth series, the 10 week series, all of those had around about 60 videos in it. Um, there's about 80 videos in the graduation playlist, but not all of them are actually graduation vlog episodes. Um, and so anyway, it's been, it's been a while, it's been a long series, and it's a series that I started literally with day zero, my graduation day. Um, it's coming up to a year in like a, a week's time from the day of filming this, that I actually handed in my dissertation, um, and that was essentially the end of my university um, work. I had a couple more little bits to sort, but I th I'm pretty sure that was about it. So, April 30th that was. So, on the 30th of April, um, I handed in my dissertation one year ago. Um, that's flown by, to be honest, and this graduation series has kind of carried me through it, shall we say. Um, we've shared ups, we've shared downs, we've shared everything in between. I've literally just shown you every single aspect of my life for the past, well, since I started doing this YouTube thing, but in particular with the graduation series, I feel like I, uh, I've i shared a, a lot more than I have done in previous um, series, but 76 episodes is, is a lot. Um, and I'll tell you why there is so many, because one, it took me a, a long time to kind of get over finishing uni, that might sound stupid, but I, I almost wasn't ready to finish because it meant entering the real world, and nobody wants to do that, everyone likes to live in their own little happy bubble, which is exactly where I was. Um, and that popped, and here I am. <laughs> but um, 76 episodes. I haven't renewed the series, I haven't changed the series because every single time I have done so, it has been a monumental time in my life. It has been a big change in my life. It has had a purpose. The new series has always had a purpose. Like graduation, I'm showing you every aspect of my life post-graduation and that's nearly a year ago now and so people could argue that that's, that, that phase of my life is kind of, well, not gone because it will always be with me but it's kind of in the past now, you know? And so, with previous series and with previous uh, ooh, just episodes and stuff that I've done with the channel, I've kind of always relied on body power for the inspiration. Um, the name Consistency, my first ever series, was that came from body power. Ten weeks that had a purpose, you know, um, it was in the run up to body power. Growth, that was, again, that came from body power as, as, as well. Just these, I have these moments of inspiration. I'm like, that's it. That's where I need to go with, with, with this. And then kind of just evolve as it goes along. And I feel like that time is, is coming close again. One, because we've done way too many episodes. This is not a series. This is a freaking box set. Um... <laughs> It's like 75 is probably going to finish at like 80, 85, 90 episodes by the time something new actually comes around because I'm not going to change the series just for the sake of changing the series. I change the series when something monumental happens, when a moment of inspiration happens, when a massive, massive change happens in my life. And nothing worthy of changing from the name graduation series has happened just yet. 
but body power is two weeks and one day away uh, by the t at the time of filming this. And so who knows where we will be in a couple of weeks time. I don't know because I am wary, I am conscious of the fact that there are so many episodes, I know that you guys probably don't really give a damn, but series names in the past have meant a lot to me, um, and still do mean a lot to me, and so I don't want to just change it for the sake of changing it, I want to change it for a reason, I want to change it for a purpose, um, and I'm waiting for that purpose to come about. So is it time for a new series? Yeah, probably, but is it happening right now? No. No, not just yet. We are sticking with the graduation series for now, okay? If you're new here, by the way, I, I went to uni. I finished uni last year. I went to Nottingham Trent University, um, and I, this series is called Graduation because I then graduated and changed and showed everything since graduation, like jobs and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I know a few, a few of you will be watching this and thinking, what the hell is the graduation series? Because I've literally not mentioned it for a long time. Um, but that is one of the reasons why I, I've, I'm wary of the fact that it's actually been going on for a long time. So let me know your thoughts on it down below. Let me know your thoughts on also what you would like to see over the next few weeks. Bearing in mind, I have a few uh, videos planned in and around the time of body power. I have a few more interesting plans in and around that time. So ears peeled, eyes peeled. Stay tuned on all my social media, Instagram in particular. I, I mean, I upload twice a week as a kind of minimum Wednesday and Sunday, but you get to see me every day on my Instagram. So if you're not already following, go ahead and follow. Go and show some love, drop me a DM, and we'll get a combo going. Right, okay, so anyway, new series, yes, but not yet. It will come, when the time is right. Okay, so thank you so much for your support lately, guys. Together, we will grow. I'll hope to see as many of you as possible at Body Power. I will see you in the next one. Much love.